My precious friends, let's take a journey through the scriptures. Now, these are the scriptures in front of us. Galatians chapter 1 verses 4 addresses the present age as the evil age. The central theme of Jesus' teaching was the kingdom of God. Jesus started his ministry by proclaiming the good news from God. The time has come, means the present evil age is going to get an end. God's kingdom is near. Turn to God from your sins and believe the good news. After three years of Jesus' ministry, Jesus was crucified. And by his blood, he made us perfect. So today, we can come to God's presence as his own sons and daughters. And we know God raised Jesus from the dead. After that, 40 days being on earth, Jesus proclaimed the good news about the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus is at the right hand of God, praying for his people who trust in his name and his second coming. At the same time, the Bible is so clear about the dead of this age. The Lord said to Moses regarding his death, You are about to sleep with your ancestors. Again, many of those sleeping in the dust of the earth will awaken, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame. Finally, Jesus himself has told about Lazarus' death. Our friend Lazarus has gone to sleep, but I am going in order to wake him up. But at the second coming of Jesus, there will be resurrection of God's people of all the ages. Jesus has told this already. Don't be surprised at this, because the time is coming when all who are in the grave will hear his voice and come out. Then, Jesus will change our bodies into glorious and beautiful bodies by his power. Then the God's faithful people will rule with Jesus for many years. In that age, Satan will be bound for many years, so he cannot cheat nations and people. Nations will not raise swords against each other, and there will be perfect world peace. Angel Gabriel has told Mary about the restoration of the throne of King David to Jesus. It will be a reality soon. There will be a throne in Jerusalem and Jesus will rule the whole earth from there. But those who do not listen to Jesus and his kingdom will not see this age because they will be in sleep. After the season, Satan will be loosed for a little time. He will again cheat people and nations to go against God's people and his city. But God will send fire and destroy them. Then Satan will be in lake of fire forever. Then God the Father himself will judge. The present earth and heaven will pass away. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life will put it into the lake of fire. Then there will be new heaven and new earth. God will live with his people and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. They will rule as kings forever and ever. How a loving father prepares his son or daughter for a long journey. God has prepared us through the scriptures. If you believe this, let's pray together. God our Father, I know that I am a sinner and I need your help. Now I believe Jesus is my king. I believe by Jesus' blood I became perfect in your eyes. I believe your coming kingdom on earth. Lead me to your truth by holding my hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In the past, God spoke to our fathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, Jesus. So, let's prepare. King's second coming announcement is on our desk and he will come soon. Created using Powtoon.